So it looks like the Cleopatra situation is not going away anytime soon, unfortunately, for Netflix. Uh, and it seems like the actress who plays Queen Cleopatra in the movie, Adele James, is now apparently coming out and doing media press tours and interviews and whatnot, basically telling Egyptians to go to hell, which is amazing to me that this person who is clearly banking off of the backs of an Egyptian ex-ruler such as Cleopatra all of a sudden wants to pretend as if blackwashing is not a thing. It's amazing to me. So let's get into this article. This one's from Bounding Into Comics, and the headline says, Netflix's Queen Cleopatra star Adele James dismisses Egyptian complaints about docuseries race swapping, says blackwashing isn't a thing. If blackwashing isn't a thing, then whitewashing isn't a thing. I want to make that very clear because you cannot have it one way and not the other. Plain and simple. It's equal on both sides. So if you're going to say blackwashing is not a thing, then whitewashing clearly is not a thing either. But let's get into the article, guys. Of course, before we do, just consider giving this video a like. That way you can push us out into the YouTube algorithm and consider hitting that subscribe button because I'm trying to fight my way to 18,000 subscribers. So it says, though there has been a loud backlash from the Egyptian nationals, including the country's government itself, towards Netflix's rate swapping of their history for Queen Cleo. Cleopatra, the docuseries star Adele James cares little for any of it, as she believes that all of it is based on nothing more than a mix of self-hatred and, of course, racism. It must be so easy to live your life with the ability to blame anything and everything on your skin color. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, I've never had that privilege. It must be fucking incredible, to be honest with you, where you can just, you could just suck at life. Every, every way imaginable, you could suck at life. You can just do terrible. You can make everybody's life a living hell. But the moment people criticize you, you could just come out and be like, well, you just don't like me because I'm black. It must be such a, a, a freeing experience. I can only imagine the joy that they must feel being able to do this because it's fucking nuts to me. It says James broke her silence on the topic during a recent appearance on the 79th episode of the Wayne's Iris podcast. Asked by the eponymous host for her opinion on the fact that people are mad about Cleopatra being blackwashed, the British actress replied, timestamp 840, blackwashing isn't a thing, is it? It absolutely is. It absolutely is. Just like whitewashing is a thing, blackwashing is a thing too. You cannot claim that one is, is true and the other is not. You just can't because they both come from the same notion. So you are just absolutely stupid if you think blackwashing is not a thing. It says, at this point, a bit of technical difficulties caused some of James' response to be cut off. But when, as her microphone kicked back in, she could be heard asserting, I find it sad that people are either so self-loathing or so threatened by the blackness that they feel the need to do that, to separate Egypt from the rest of the continent. Well, the thing is, is nobody, nobody's like, scared of the blackness nobody is so like loathing about the blackness it's just the fact that you are so inherently narcissistic that you needed to see yourself in a known historical figure that you absolutely know was not black and you're lying to people people have a problem with this because you labeled it a docuseries had you labeled it a drama or a falsification of history or whatever like if you just labeled it anything other than documentary and docuseries i don't think anybody would have had a problem with it obviously you would have got trolled but nobody ultimately at the end of the day would have cared to the level that they do, especially Egypt. But the fact is you named it a docu-series. You named it as something that is factual information. And when the Elizabeth Taylor movie came out, that was not a documentary. That was not a docu-series. That was a drama. So that's why when you make the comparison about, oh, what about Elizabeth's uh, 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 version of Cleopatra? It doesn't matter because the movie's fake. And according to you, according to your logic, fake characters or fake scenarios the skin color doesn't matter so clearly what does it matter if elizabeth played um cleopatra at that point by your own logic however you labeled it a docuseries you labeled it a documentary you labeled it something that is factual information and we all know you are lying through your black old teeth it says, following a brief discussion about her process, preparing for the overall, Ayers then inquired with James about whether or not the fact that no nobody has seen it yet, but everybody's bashing it, has been the biggest career obstacle for you. Why would anybody need to see it? Why would anybody need to see this? This is a docu-series, so obviously it's based on historical truth, or at least it's supposed to. So it's not like we're going there to see a story and be subverted by the story that's given to us because it's going to follow what we know to be historically true. The problem is that you are not being historically true based on how you depict the character because Netflix has an obsession with black people. It is plain as day. There was absolutely a lot of people saying very horrible things. Good, they should. But it definitely wasn't everyone, she said. 
Uh, I think that's so important to remember that, like, in the grand scheme of things, there were some people who lost their minds over it, but there was a lot of really positive responses immediately as well. And it's remained. It's consistent. People are so excited. I'm getting messages all the time. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. They always say, oh, I'm getting messages all the time. I'm getting all this support, and yet it gets canceled after the first season. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, this is something that's not a seasonal-based story, but still, you get what I'm saying. Like, these shows never do as well as these actors and actresses love to make it seem as well as they're going to do. It says, but this is the biggest thing I had to deal with in the public sphere. She then noted, it's the most I've had to navigate personally as an actress. This has definitely elevated my profile considerably on an international scale. The biggest show I had done before this was a television program here in the UK, uh, the long-running British soap opera Casualty, that does have repeats in other parts of Europe, but several years down the line. In the UK, it's big, but outside of the UK, it's not as big. So this is like a whole nother scale of a project for me. I would say it's not wholly negative, Adele added, and actually, as time goes on, those voices have gone quieter and quieter. And that's because people just stop caring. They're just not going to watch it. That's the thing. Like, they realize that there's a bigger way to affect you who is clearly very narcissistic since now you think that you are on some sort of international scale by faking uh, Cleopatra as black, which is great. I mean, if this is your claim to fame, go ahead, slay queen. Literally, go for it. Do your thing. Because people are going to roast you for it, obviously. And I almost would guarantee that this is not going to be a successful docuseries in the slightest. I highly doubt they will release any numbers. Like, they never they never release numbers. Let's be real. Like, very rarely does a show ever release numbers on how it did. Because we all know how they do. Thanks to the Nielsen ratings and whatnot, we get an idea of exactly how it did and how bad it bombed. And I promise you, this TV show, this docuseries, this fake uh, version of history will absolutely bomb. It says, Ayers then broached the topic of the Egyptian ministry. Of tourism and archaeology's recent criticism of the Netflix series as competing with the simplest historical facts in the writings of historians, to which James responded with dismissive laughter. Yeah, I know I shouldn't laugh, but it's quite funny, the actress explained of her knee-jerk response. It's quite funny, the level of threat that you must feel just on my skin tone to file a lawsuit against an entire streaming service, that to me is really extreme. It's a really extreme reaction. Would you feel that way if, if a notoriously known black king or queen was uh, race swapped? Would you not feel that way? Would you not feel like your culture, your history was being stolen from you and being made fun of and also being shown as something that it wasn't in the public space? I'm guaranteeing that you would feel some sort of way because we all know how people like Adele tend to react when things don't go their way. And I promise you, if they were to race swap Martin Luther King, for example, for a docuseries, let's say they do a white Martin Luther King in a docuseries. Would you like that? Would you like that? No, because at the end of the day, you know what it is? Black people, for some reason, think that everything and anything that they do is inherently because of the blackness of their skin. That's how people view it. That's how they view it half the time. And I'm mostly talking about black liberals. Obviously, not all black people are like this. I know people that are not like this, clearly. But the point is, a lot of them are. They view everything as inherently black. So if a character is black, even though their skin color has nothing to do with the storyline whatsoever, immediately in their mind, it does. And if you race swap them, you are taking away the blackness of the character whatever the fuck that means but when you race swap any other character that's not black they're gonna tell you well that character's race was nothing inherent to the story thus you can do it so why is it that every black character or every character that is known to be black uh suddenly their race is inherent to the character like why is it every single one of them surely not every story about a black character is inherently because of their blackness right there's just no way that's possible but for some reason to them it is it's ridiculous so it says james would then revealed that her defenses of Netflix's race swapping was rooted in contemporary notions of race politics, claiming that the response from the Egyptian people was 100% fundamentally rooted in racism, which is a very modern ideology. God, I, like I said earlier in the video, it must be so freeing to be able to blame everything and anything on your skin color. The ancient Egyptians, they don't think about race like we do, because race has only been contextualized since we understand since the transatlantic slave trade, she argued. That's not how people thought about it back then, right? So it's really bizarre, but to me, I find it very sad. I feel sad for them. Closing out their conversation about Netflix's series, Ayers ultimately asked James what she hoped critics could gain from watching the series. Well, if they watch it, if they give us some hate views, I hope that they will understand it. It's a debate, it's a conversation, and it's not a definitive answer, said James. And actually, the research on it is really interesting, and the people talking about it are really interesting. But I'm sure they'll discover, quite frankly, that the series is uh, about so much more than that. Cleopatra is no more reduced to what her heritage may or may not have been than I am or any of us. We're all full human beings, and she was a full human being, a person. And that's what this is about. Yeah, it's so easy to say that. <laughs> 
it's so easy to say that when you're on the side that's doing the race swapping. I want them to keep the same energy when Martin Luther King gets race swapped. I wish I, I, I really do wish I could make a version of Martin Luther King docuseries that was white just for the lols. I really do because I would hate to see a race swap Martin Luther King because obviously he's a very important figure in history. But just because these people deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. I would love to see one done just so I could see the absolute fucking nuclear meltdown that would follow from race swapping someone like Martin Luther King. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.